let's solve for all values of a given that a to the 4 is equal to a minus 1 all raised to the 4. Well, our first step will be for us to bring a minus 1 all raised to the 4 to the left. So we have a to the 4 and as this crosses to the left, it becomes minus a minus 1 all raised to the 4 equal to 0. Now this a to the 4 can be simplified as a to the 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Minus, we do the same thing here. This will be a minus 1 all raised to the 2 times 2 which gives 4 equal to 0. Now we can write this in a simplified form as a squared all raised to the 2 because this 2 multiplies this 2 which makes what I have here and what I have here the same thing. Now let's do the same thing here. So we have minus this is a minus 1 all raised to the 2 and we're going to raise this to this other 2 and this is equal to 0. Now we have an expression in difference of 2 squares. An expression in difference of 2 squares, for example, when I have, oh, let me use another alphabet instead of A. Alright, so I'm going to be using, when I have x squared minus y squared, this can be expressed as x minus y times x plus y. So this is how we express difference of 2 squares. That means this will be our a squared is our x, then our a minus 1 all squared is our y. So we have x minus y, that means a squared, that's our x, minus y, which is a minus 1 all squared. So this is our x minus y times x plus y. So we go x plus y. That is it. And this is equal to 0. Now, we have two cases. We have a squared minus a minus 1 or squared to be equal to 0. Or we have a squared plus a minus 1 or squared to be equal to 0. So this is going to be our first case. And this will be our second case. Now, starting with our first case, I'm going to open up this bracket by expanding. So this will be a squared minus. Now I'll open up a bracket. Now expanding this, we have a squared minus minus 2 times a times 1. That is 2a. And then plus 1 squared is 1. And this is equal to 0. Now let's open up the brackets using this negative outside. So we have a squared minus a squared minus times minus is plus 2a minus times plus is minus 1 equal to 0. Now see that a squared minus a squared is 0 so it is gone. So I have 2a minus 1 to be equal to 0. So I'm going to be moving this negative 1 to the right. So I have 2a to be equal to, and as negative 1 crosses to the right, it becomes positive 1. So dividing both sides by 2, we have a to be equal to 1 all over 2. So this is a real solution for a gotten from our first case. Now let's pay attention to our second case to get other values of a. Now, we're going to be expanding this a minus 1 all squared. So we have a squared plus, now expand this, we have a squared minus 2 times a times 1, that is 2a, plus 1 squared is 1. And this is equal to 0, where I did not put a bracket there because I have positive outside. Now, let's simplify it a squared plus a squared is 2a squared minus 2a plus 1 equal to 0. So we have a nice quadratic equation from here.
and we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this well our a from this quadratic equation is the coefficient of a squared and that is 2 b is the coefficient of a and that is negative 2 then our c is a constant which is 1 we're looking for a actually so a the formula for the quadratic will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now let's substitute here so we have a to be equal to minus b b is negative 2 so i'm going to be putting negative 2 there plus or minus the square root of b squared that is negative 2 squared minus 4 times a times c so 4 times a a is 2 times c c is 1 all over 2 times a which means 2 times 2 so simplifying further we have a to be equal to negative times negative is positive so we have positive 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times 2 times 1 is 8 all over 2 times 2 is 4 now simplifying further we have a to be 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 8 is minus 4 which is negative 4 all over 4 well simplifying this further we have 2 plus or minus this will be the square root of negative 4 is 2i well we have this i which is a complex value because of this negative inside of this radical all over 4 now let's separate the fraction so we have a to be equal to 2 all over 4 plus or minus 2i all over 4 now notice that we have here to be 2 here 1 2 here is 2 2 here 1 2 here is 2 so this is simplified into 1 all over 2 1 all over 2 plus or minus 1 all over 2i so 1 all over 2i so let's separate the two values of a we got from here so we have 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2i or a is equal to 1 over 2 now this time the negative minus 1 over 2i so we have three total values of a of which one is a real solution while the other two are complex solutions well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.